If one has to get a complete blood cell count, that is a CBC report, the quickest one can expect the report to come by is at least the day after the test. And you give a rather large volume of blood, some 50 milliliters, for just a couple of parameters. Something that could soon be done in a few minutes in with just a finger prick. And you get a 14 parameter CBC report either from the comfort of your home or at the bedside of a patient in emergency care. We bring you the story of collaboration from the Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, where Micro X Lab is situated. Usama started out collaborating with Liana Levin from Alline Incorporated in California and found that if the device is to be used in underserved populations and low resource settings, it would require extra frugal manufacturing processes. Moving away from manual sample preparation that required at least a small room with access to conventional reagent, this new device is a unique blend of nanotechnology with specially invented processes in semiconductor technology. The biosensors in here last longer as well as catch cells that are even 2 to 3 micron in size. So there are no devices right now we have seen in the market, whether it is of US or it is of China or of India, where uh, people do a CBC test at point of care with 14 parameters. And in emergency care units where a patient CBC report is required urgently, the device would be a boon. With the size of a toaster and less than 4 kilos, the device uses sensors to detect cells by their ability to resist electrical current flow. This microfluidic impedance biosensor does the job with the help of special electrodes. When a cell passes between these two electrodes, there is a change in the impedance. And based on this impedance change, we can count different types of cells in our blood. The drop in the current flow reveals different types of cells white blood cells, monocytes, neutrophils, lymphocytes, platelets and red blood cells. So what happens in our sensor? You get a peak when the cell is pushed between the sensor and depending on the height of the peak, you can classify what is the size of the cell. Low frequencies differentiate the size of the cell while high frequencies indicate different capacitance of the cells. For example, the monocytes and the neutrophil have the same size. But when you apply high frequency, because of the capacitance difference on the outer layer of the cells, you can differentiate the monocytes and the neutrophils. Precision engineered biosensors complete with micro pumps and motor controls sitting on a chip and moving blood within channels that are thinner than a human hair would go a long way in evaluating overall health and detecting a wide range of disorders. Uh, we have a patent on this. We have filed a PCT application on the electrode fabrication. Another application of the device would be in counting circulating tumor cells. If you see the pulse width distribution, both in the diameter and uh, volume of the cell, you can uh, see what is the abnormality. Results of CBC can be directly streamed to the physician or, or onto the oncologist. The data can be directly streamed to the server. 